Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Show It Better. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create awesome visualizations using the newest, the best, and the very expected Lumion 9, right? So let's get started. Okay guys, so in this video, we are going to cover two scenes that I created and I'm going to mostly do a walkthrough of these scenes. The first one is a is an urban scene with a model downloaded from the 3D warehouse. Uh, there will be a link in the description of this model. And, and the second scene is a, like a very rural, uh, you know, house on the forest kind of thing that uh, with a model that was also down in a 3d warehouse right so first we are going to start with the urban model and it's important here to notice uh, that the model was uh, done in sketchup and using the live sync tool a, a, a very not a very awesome tool that's available for revit sketchup archicad and now rhino uh, you know i could just uh, open the model in SketchUp, uh, use the play button on the live sync tool and it would be synchronized and on time in Lumion as well, right? So I can change materials, I can do anything and it would be it would appear in Lumion. So as soon as I activate this live sync tool, uh, we can start modifying things and adding them in, uh, in, in Lumion, right? Like trees, cars, uh, we can start making scenes, etc. So what I'm going to start doing is changing the materials of, uh, you know, maybe the grass, the grass that it's important. So I, I'm just going to click on, click on the material tool and I'm going to select the landscape material, right? So we can blend in with this landscape. And also I'm going to change the material of some uh, of the contacts. So it, you know, it makes the building, the main building stand out much, much more. And I'm going to go to photo mode so I can, you know, you know, create two, one or two scenes that are going to be the scenes that I want to take out from this model, right? So I'm going to create an aerial scene and I'm going to, uh, you know, by clicking store camera, I'm just going to save the scenes that are, the scenes that I think are going to be awesome for this image, right? And as as many of you may know, uh, Lumion 9 and Lumion 8 uh, come with uh, some some preset styles. You know, like realistic, daytime, night, overcast, dawn, uh, watercolor, sketch. You know, and it, you can customize your own your own preset. So it already has some effects. Put into it and it makes uh, all of this much much easier and you know it's it's they're very awesome presets right so i'm just going to select one of the presets maybe realistic and i'm going to start adding some trees and adding some things to the model to make it look much more realistic and much better right and but since there are so many trees and it's an urban context i'm going to use it using the tool the mass placement tool or i can also use the the cluster tool which uh, also places uh, clusters of, of the same objects that you're going to choose so when we use the mass placement tool we just uh, you know select uh, the two nodes where we want the mass placement to end and to start if you want to add another node you can just press control or alt on your keyboard and you can also uh, add the many types of trees that i want for in this case i want very big urban trees that are going to look uh, you know massive in the model right and as you guys can see in this new new in this new Lumion 9 there's a new interface so right now we don't have to go back to you know to the objects the material li to the, the objects library and we lose lose sight of our context now the material the now the object library is just right beside us and as soon as we choose a tree uh, we can already see the preview of it inside the model so it's this this is something very very important and very cool for this new Lumion feature and as you guys can see here is a new cluster feature as well where we just uh, press uh, shift and we have different types of clusters that can be formed also you know you can select uh, maybe a smaller tree and it, it it saves you just so much time instead of placing tree by tree and you know Lumion decides many of these things for you. It's very, very awesome. And, and what I'm also going to do very quickly is place some lampposts uh, along the street, place some, place some cars, 
place more trees and people so you know you can just like uh make this scene come to life and make it much much more real right i do all of this with the mass placement tool using the randomized direction tool and it's just a very very easy to work with workflow that has a uh, very good end results right so i did all of this in about an hour or two and the results are pretty pretty amazing also when you're importing the cars you can select uh, there are many types of cars and from what i understand in this new content library in lumion there are many cars that were added many people and much more trees and you know much more of everything so they're like i don't know like four thousand i don't know like thousands and thousands of library of uh, content in in cars and in many things that will just bring your your model to life right so i'm just going to add do the same thing with people use the mass placement tool and for those of you that don't know one other cool feature in lumion 9 is the recovery option right so we didn't have this in the previous lumion file lumion uh, versions you know if it crashed it crashed and you, you lost your file but right now we can uh, enable a recovery option where if by some reason your lumion crashed you will have a recovery file so you know you don't lose all of your work and of course one of the most expected uh you know features that we all wanted in lumion are the real skies you know the ability to put uh, some skies uh, and lumion what, what they did was add an effect that's called real skies where they have uh, a series of different options for sunset overcast morning uh, evening cloudy clear skies and you can just you know select any of these guys it works very much like an H HDRI image and you can you know change the heading of the change the direction of the sky change the brightness the contrast and um, it will make the scene look much much more realistic and improve it you know the skies in lumion by defect were were very good but these make it much much more real so if, so when i take out some test renders with with this these guys you guys can see that the model also you know starts looking very cool very cool and very realistic uh, with very little time and work effort so another thing I want to do is I want to create in with this aerial scene I want to create some in like an aerial night scene. I, I have just I've always wanted to do that. So I, I'm going to put some lights on the lampposts that I put uh, earlier before, and I'm going to also put some lights in the main building. So you can do this by going to to the lights in the content library and just placing some lights. Uh, not not a lot, but just some lights where you think they would look uh they would look interesting and uh also i'm going to place a little bit of fog in my image and i'm going to press an hdri that is going to go to the evening mode and that's going to and that is going to uh give us a very awesome night image with the lights that we want so so by doing this you know it was about an hour placing trees and placing cars and we have this is the result that we have right so this is something uh, that's uh, very very impressive for for a real-time rendering program and you know we have seen that lumion has improved uh, much much more and now i, I want to take you guys to the second scene because i think is, this is in the second scene where i was most impressed and i was like very you know i fell very in love with lumion and especially especially lumion 9 that has all these new features so let's go to the second scene and this second scene also as i told you guys before it's the model done um that was in three that was in the 3d warehouse download downloaded from the 3d warehouse and what i did again with live sync i imported it to lumion and said it, since it had some roads for the context i changed the materials and added more or less a mountain so it would look more like a house in the woods and not like a house in the suburbs and also using the terrain tool i uh using the height tool in the landscape section i just you know created my own terrain very fast so i could have you know a lot of trees and a lot of things that would make it look much much more natural now one of the main features uh that that made made this project look very cool 
was the the 3D grass option, right? So uh, in Lumion 8, uh, we we had an option of putting, you know, turning the grass on and off, and this made, you know, this was a very cool option, and it had very realistic grass. But now it, the things things have come uh, much much further, and you know, much 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 better. So Lumion has put uh, the option to uh, create. They have different sets of presets of grass from farmland grass, farmland grass to wild grass to um, to fresh, freshly cut grass to checker grass. You know, there are tons and tons of grass options that just make this look very, very awesome. So I'm just going to go with the wild grass in this, in, in this case because we're in the woods and, you know, it's kind of a wild grass scenario. What I also want to do is uh, start saving some scenes. I want to create about um, three to four images with the same perspective, but with different moods, right? So a night image, you know, a dawn image, a sunset, etc., etc., etc. And um, I'm going to start placing some trees in the context. So I placed two types of trees, right? For the first one was the a cluster tree, you know, a cluster object that had a lot of trees inside them. And the other uh, tool I used was the mass, the mass extension tool, the one we used also in the urban setting. And I'll, now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm putting uh, some uh, ambience to the grass, you know, adding more different types of grass so the image can look much, much better. And obviously with the real skies option, everything just, you know, has more life and it looks much, much more realistic. So in this cloudy, foggy image, you know, the, the, the real skies option really gives it the life that it needs. And now I'm going to create a, a, an image that is not so much foggy, but it has a more of a sunset feeling to it. That's why I want to add some light uh, to the interior of the house. So uh, these can uh, stand out much, much more when, uh, you know, when the lights are darker in the context. And as you can see, the render times here are very, very low. I mean, uh, for those of you that don't know my computer, it, it's a very normal computer. It has an i5 processor of 7th generation. It has a 4 gigabyte memory card and it has a 12 RAM of uh, 12 gives 12 gives of RAM and it, it, it you know it works pretty well with these types of scenes I've always off of I've also worked with big urban scenes and you know it holds up pretty pretty well so you don't you don't need you know this massive computer uh, to support Lumion right so as you guys can see by adding this grass this small grass it gives it a lot of life and a lot of a you know a lot of variety and realness to the image and now we're going to see our four final images uh, as you guys can see they have they, the four final images have a, four, a very different mood and but they all look very very realistic uh, and i really really like the results i i hope i can put out some more Luma, lumion videos in the future and i'm planning on doing a video on the features uh, the new features of lumion 9 and you know working more with the guys at Lumion that are really doing a great great job if you guys are interested in downloading Lumion there is a link in the description where you guys can uh, find out all about it all all about its new features and yeah I, I really thank you guys for watching this video I think there are a lot of, of potential there's a lot of potential and I think personally Lumion is taking over the game in regards to time to quality and to awesome images all right so i'll see you in the next video thank you guys for watching